Okay, folks, we are on Bargy Road. We are going to do the Ted's Turn Trail today. Um, we have some weather moving in within the next few hours, so we're going to do short trails today. Another hiking trail here. Um, I don't know what's with the rake in the trail. Closed races in progress sign. Because they don't do any spring races. And then there's a rake. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're not doing any work today. That's the second tree that has a rhythmic noise like that. No idea what that would mean. Shady shuttle. Had that happen. <laughs> anyway, Ted's turn. It's only half a mile. Um, we get already starting to hear some of the wind pick up. And this trail ends into Alice's Alley. That trail has not been done yet. Probably not until next week. It's a long trail too. So, Ted's turn. Let's see what Ted has to offer us today. Now let's just see. Looks like for the most part it's still under construction. Which doesn't make sense because the sign hanging off the post looks like it's been there a few years. So this trail is primarily probably a winter trail. It's all dug up everywhere. So, you know, who's going to see it in the snow? <laughs> well, probably, you know, it's a nice bypass trail. Again, you just see me react to something. I'm assessing the situation. get these things out of the corner of my eyes and it takes me like five minutes looking for it to find out it's just a leaf flapping around <laughs> if it's wildlife you know I'm gonna want to make sure I see it before it sees you type of thing so I can show you but as I was saying there's a lot of these dugout areas and there's no way this trail can still be under construction I mean look at the you seen the sign when it first started the trail it's been, paint peeling off it. Creepy. You know it's starting to get windy now. It sounds like that. <laughs> I wonder what that could be.
get that front moving through. So I don't want to really be in the woods when, it, especially when the wind starts picking up and temperatures are going to start dropping here shortly. So right now it's about 48 degrees. Something that's kind of creepy. Somebody's day bag. Over here, a tornado. <laughs> Why is every trail I take, I always end up seeing something that makes me go, What? Well, we're coming up to the end of the trail. That was a short trail, there really wasn't much to see. It's probably just a bypass to get from the one trail, the Hotch, Hotchkiss Trail over to Alice Alley. So this probably just ties in to make it a loop trail or something. I think that's what a lot of these are, just to tie into the next trail over for a loop trail. It doesn't look like it was constructed to actually be an actual hiking trail i mean it all looks like this but who's a skier ain't gonna see it it'll be covered in three feet of snow where this one actually looks like it could be a decent hiking trail it's intent so here we are at alice's alley i don't know what's with all the stuff there so that concludes this part of the segment. Ted's turn and Alice Alley. And we're on Ted's turn. I have not created Alice Alley yet. So that's still up in the air. I've not done any filming from Alice Alley. Uh, so when that happens, here's Ted's turn. I didn't really see any turn in it, but I am kind of curious what's over this hit well. Sneak peek. <laughs> oh, Alice Alley is going to be a fun one. <laughs> Come up next time on Alice Alley <laughs> in Winona State Forest. Mm. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Bring your muck boots. Alright, hope you've enjoyed the show on Ted's turn. It's again only half a mile long. It's a loop trail. It mainly looks like it's for skiing. It's not intended to be a trail it looks like, but it is 
I believe it's a loop trail from Hotchkiss over to Ellis Alley because it's runs right, right straight across from Hotchkiss across Bargy Road over to Ellis Alley. And I believe if you go that one, he'll will loop you around. So, hope you've enjoyed. And specifications is we're in Winona Forest, New York State lands. It's not a state park, it's a state land. You can do just about anything, primitive camping, whatnot. All trails are open for hiking. And there's trails, you know, the main draw to this place is the wintertime skiing and snowmobiling. All roads that are in this area are, you know, all vehicle roads are set up for snowmobile trails. So, like, say, Bargy Road is seasonal highway. Yeah, seasonal highway. Seasonal highways that come through the park are set up to be snowmobile trails also in the wintertime. So, we get a lot of snowmobiles. There are ski races also during the wintertime. Stuff like that. Thus, the trail closed race in progress is a ski race. Because they don't do any races <laughs> that I know of in the summertime. I think it might be a run, but I'm not sure. I just know the main draw for Winoa Forest is the winter aspect. Which is why I'm out here in the spring showing you what you can be missing. And I'd like to do these shows before leaves grow on the trees and you can't see over the next ridge and you miss it. That's the lookout trail. You're not going to be able to see 100 feet straight down to that creek below when you're covered with leaves all over the place and brush growing. So we see it <laughs> before all that. Something for you to look forward to when you show up. And there's multiple miles of trails here. You could do four wheeling, you could do bike riding, horseback riding. Whatever you could think of, you could probably do it. Alright, hope you've enjoyed the show and I'll be uh, working on another segment here shortly. Winona, Winona State Forest. We're in the town of Boylston, New York. You can get off and see in the creek or Mansville, New York. Uh, head eastbound off the exits. There should be highway signs telling you. Oh, no, sun's gonna come out. Yeah. All right, please leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the bell and the like button. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed. like that there around here yeah and I get the map here so Ted's turning yeah that, see it's a loop trail it goes across Hotchkiss straight across to Alice's Alley and then you could loop it go down Dog Leg and then you're on this road or you could loop this way go over the Tucker Road so that's what Ted's turn is it's a loop trail Let's see what the lines are about. So the wind starts blowing. Green on motorized, blue snowmobile, orange ATV. All trails are open to hiking and biking. Nice, perfectly straight tree. What? What happened there? <laughs> oh, you can see you off in the distance there. It's starting to get some tree buds out there. Oh, my handy cam just told me I'm out of memory card. This might be the last B-roll I do for a while. 
Alright, well, you won't waste your time anymore. My memory car is full. What? What's the other one here? Okay. Now, that wasn't bothering me. Let's see what I thought the trail was under construction here. Wait. What the? <laughs> what? I don't think that's supposed to be there. <sighs> well, there's no. <laughs> okay. Nothing suspicious about. Hey, sunlight! scared me real good. Do you want to see what just scared the crap out of me? Look. I look over, I see a dark object. Can you see the dark object? Straight ahead. <laughs> that scared me. That's all about what I'm seeing right there. That's just that tree. That's what I see. Out of the whole forest. There's just one lonely dark object looking like something standing there looking at you. <laughs> right in the middle of this. Suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the trail. Beginning. Hope you've enjoyed it. And there's a lot more of these coming down the pipeline.